Do you remember walking around with condoms in your wallet? I, can't, I don't know why I can't find that in my notes. Yeah. Do you remember? Oh, because oh, it just says remember. Remember walking around with condoms in your wallet, right? <laughs> <The> sick time. <laughs> so my, um, but my question, my flip for that is uh, not, do you remember that? Like, where did you, where did you keep your condoms? In the wallet. One in the wallet. Oh, you're old, bro. I am old. Yeah. Oh, what a guy. Where else would I? Where That's else would a I? sock, baby. Are you kidding me? I had it. I had it. You in have my, to that? I, I had it in my wallet. Um, because of course, when you're, you know, you know, 17, 18, 19, you can just get pussy at any time. So you walk <laughs> around with a condom in your wallet, what? which absolutely is not Trevor, the case. What it's college, not, what college did you go to? It's not the case. Anytime. Oh. That doesn't happen. Oh, that's not happening. Okay. But okay. we think as niggas. Yeah, no, that's really how they walk out. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then they roll it back into their wallet. We think as niggas because like we, we think it, we think it's creeps and because we, you know, like rap music and watch the big pimping video oh, absolutely. that we could just like walk around with Gotta a keep it in on wallet me. just in case, you know, just in case you're at the bus stop and homegirl wants to bust it wide open on the 85. That don't happen though. It never happened. It's never happened. It never even happened to any of your homies. It never it happened. It happened to one homie. There's one homie who had it done. No, there was no, the homie that it was funny too. Cause like in the group of niggas, the nigga that would actually like leave the spot with a chick is the one that didn't have a condom. And he would oh, be asking, yes, and he would be asking percent. your boys, yo, 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 you got a rubber? Yo, you got a rubber? Don't, but you don't have to ask. You know who to ask. The one who's always prepared who gets no cheeks. <laughs> yo, give me that whole shit, bro. You don't even need that. Like it should expire in, o- in 05. <laughs> yo, just pass it over, man. God damn. He's just like your permanent condom holder. Actually, that's where I kept my condom. To the man who got no cheeks. Would never do it again. Absolutely not. <laughs> Yo, what? never again. Absolutely not. I mean, no, I was no? going to I was gonna say no, something s- so wild. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, he was using them. Um, <laughs> what's the next question? <laughs> Waking up to 1200 is nice. That would be dope. That, that was would... a good feeling. I think a um, majority of uh, stimulus checks within the Bronx, Queens, Brooklyn, within the five boroughs, uh-huh. those went into, um, it's called a bloom wheel. The fuck is that? Uh, it's when you send your hundred, <laughs> and then your man sends his hundred, <laughs> <laughs> and everybody sends their hundred, and then we all take, um, we all rotate who gets eight hundred. I didn't know that's what it was called. It's a bloom wheel, brother. I thought it was called. I, call, I thought it was called idiot boxes. That's what I was. That, calling no, 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 that is what it's called. I was calling them idiot boxes. Yeah, that's what, that's that's actually what it is. Yeah. Um, the bloom wheel and idiot boxes are actually the same exact thing. I will tell you that Friday, Saturday, and a little bit of Sunday was extremely hectic on my uh, timeline. But the thing is, I knew this shit would calm down because now you don't see it as much. So no. all those names that were at the back of the list that gave their hundred dollars, did they get their eight hundred? Because I didn't see them. I only saw maybe a few people posting right. in their right. cash app that they had eight hundred dollars, and everybody else is like, uh, "When is it my turn?" And it's like, "It's never going <laughs> to be your never turn. Never your turn. Because you're a fucking idiot." Can I be honest here? Absolutely. Can I be honest? Can I be honest? Be right. as honest as you need to be. I don't fall for scams, right? Like, I, like I be, I'm a strong Trini man. Uh-huh. Okay, we don't get scum. But I got scammed. By um, what? Not by this. No, not not by this, but more. more I can't even admit that I got scammed by the blue. I have my hundred. Yes. Right? So, like, that's not getting scammed. Absolutely. But I really paid attention to... Um, the situation, I kind of ghosted the situation to see what if, what would happen if I was to play. What I, like, I, I just took a little gamble, right? I kind of faked it. Let me tell you something. People who got involved with that Bloom Wheel, uh-huh. I really feel bad for them. Are they upset? Have to be. I don't know any, I mean, then I can admit it. Then I can admit that it was that that they fucked That's up. That's my though. thing. Like, so you're never gonna see like the the, the stories where somebody did it. Where the stories? Where the, I I just want there's a, there was a lot of energy on the timeline. You just see the success. That's it. Yeah, you only see the success, and you also see two more spots. It, they, yo, <laughs> when you understand how the wheel itself works, like you you realize how sad of a concept it is. Well, it's, it's taking advantage of people's taking, desperation, desperate right. times, right? But like. It's like, I'm going to take advantage of you and your mans. The thing is, for me, we can't be friends after that. We can't be friends after you ask me to put my name in the idiot box for $100. And then I'm just left out. Just because I like signed up too late, I'm left out of $100 because I'm still waiting for you to recruit people. Or I need to go and beg and recruit people to go put when their name in, in my box. When you jump in, there's three other... Well, you have to wait three other turns. Three other turns means three times eight. 
She has to get they have to wait for twenty four fresh people to come get scammed. Nah, son. No, nah, fuck that. No, I'd rather jump in another type of box than to jump in hey. that box. That is not anything that I'm gonna get scammed That's a on. Fact. That's a fact. And I, I told you about you this. You could get scammed in regular box too. Oh, but. regular box will scam the shit out yeah, of you. Yeah, <laughs> That don't have so, more than sometimes. Yeah, so most of the time, most you're of the, most of the time, most of the time, it's a scam. <laughs> That's a fact. They they try it, man. They did try. Listen, anything that I, I've now come to the conclusion, anything, even if it comes from your man's. That's, or anyone that says, send me, more than likely you're going to get scammed. You got to be skeptical of everything, especially yeah. in these times. Like I said, people are taking advantage of people that are yeah, in man. really like <clears throat> tight spots, taking advantage of the elderly, like the phone call scamming, the credit card scamming, debit card scamming. Listen, it is at a peak right now. You know who really fell for <laughs> um, the Bloom Wheel a lot? Like a lot? Like what, bur- what borough do you think? Fell victim of, of the Bloom Wheel the most. Ooh, I don't want to say the wrong borough. You say it. <laughs> it was the Bronx. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Let me tell you something. The the Bronx was going crazy for the wheel. A lot of Yesenias and Arturos. Oh, my God. Yesenia, Arturo. Yesenia, the Jessicas. <laughs> um, yo, they were getting them off. If you had called me, right? And you said, and and, you, and I was like, yo, fam, like, I got this thing, and da, 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 da. And I show you 800, though. If I show you proof, mm-hmm. wouldn't that make you kind of like, like, because I'm your mans, wouldn't mm-hmm. that make you consider it a little bit, a little bit more? Uh, me, no. Oh, bulletproof, Trev. I'm not bulletproof. Absolutely <laughs> not. I've but been, if I show you 800 in my account. I want to know where it came from. I want to know how you got it. I want to know, like. Right, you're, you're but more I, curious, though. You're yeah, more curious. And I want to know how can I get that. Without like just putting my name and my money into some like mysterious cash app, because who the fuck am I sending my money to? Yo, yo. I'm sending my money to the nigga in the middle. Yeah, you send it to the nigga in the, in the, nigga in the middle, and then that nigga in the middle, in the middle gets at eight hundred dollars, and then he, you never, and then I still gotta wait for again. my name and my exactly, and I never see homeboy again. It's like you we don't were, even know who homeboy is. You don't. To be honest. You don't. Arturo is is just like run off with my hundred dollars. <laughs> Yesenia is right in front of me when it comes to like getting the next eight hundred dollars. So I, I gotta wait you for you to send you to promote turn. people, yep. and then I gotta look like a fucking jackass on Instagram begging people to put Oof. their name in the box. Two. Give me a hundred dollars. Put put the name it's in the box. Nasty. It was Get the nasty. fuck out of here. Want to say to all those who cashed out because there was a lot of people who cashed out. I guess it's like it's, I want to say salute, but I don't want to say salute because I know there's out of like because you cashed out, other people. Got fucked over. I'm not a fan of... I mean, I'm all about doing what you can to like make extra income and extra coin. Uh, but I've I've never been the type ever in my life to try to or be a part of doing some nasty shit. No, nah, it's some money. Yo, that's that gonna, wheel that's is gonna hurt nasty. Yeah. Sanitize. 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 And you can't... There's no way everybody wins. That's the whole thing when it comes to these, like, these pyramid scams. Because there's always going to be a person at the top that's going to, you know... Win and get money or get some kind of income, and then As the people at the bottom. Down. It don't trickle down. Shit don't trickle down. It's it not. Is, yeah, it the like, only thing that trickles down is piss. But yeah, shout out to everybody who has put their name in a box and got nothing from it. Yeah, down a hundred. That's nuts. <sighs> That's wild, crazy. Okay, and then lastly, you walking in with the lady, but it's been it's been COVID. Head on a swivel, as always. Right, you got it. Same thing. Scope. Absolutely. Um. What niggas are looking at yeah, my girl? Yeah, I'm alert. I'm <laughs> little ass. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know what exactly. sized you up. So what niggas? And then if we if we walk in, right? And let's say that um, we see somebody I know or, see, or she sees somebody she knows. Um, it's like, how are you, you know, approaching that? Because you might see a female friend that you see and... They might be used to giving you like the yeah. hug and the, oh, and the no, touchy and, not, the, and the co-mingling of, the, there. <laughs> of all of that. And it's like you got to kind of like halt that and be like, oh, good to see you. Hey, it's my girl. Exactly. Good to see you. <laughs> so good to see you. A little platonic hug or a little right. fist bump. It's COVID time, so a little elbow bump. Yeah. Oh, um, oh, COVID's making it easy to see the old, old work now, you. But, absol- but then if you're in a spot and your girl sees like a nigga that's friends... And you know this, you know your girl is bad. I mean, niggas are niggas. You know your girl is bad. So the nigga might be trying to get get off one of them hugs. And you just gotta establish You hate the hugs. You hate hugs. You hate depends on what are kind. you scarred from a from a from a, a low booty grab hug or too too low of a hands hug? Hands there was this is a long time ago. This yeah. had to be like uh 
We're maybe healing like past college. traumas. We're healing past. Yeah, traumas. yeah, absolutely. I'm better now. <laughs> um, but yeah, like the the hand low close to the butt, or like the commingling of the genitals. You don't like or, that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Push your yeah. hips out. Like yeah. show some respect. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, boy, tuck out. So that's don't exactly tuck out. exactly. Yeah, so like you're poke. squatting. Poke your hips out. Poke. Um, <laughs> <laughs> poke. Don't poke. Don't poke. Don't poke. Don't poke. Yo, just stay away from my girl, bro. <laughs> That's it. That's Simple, it. right? Simple. Simple enough. I'm trying to make it easy for him. Fuck him. Simple enough. Um, S- say hi from across the bar. Yeah, just. Indeed. So that's how that's how I'm walking into okay. the spot. Yeah. Um, I actually have a really funny story. A quick, 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 funny story about yeah. um, seeing the dude that's checking out your girl. Oh wow. Yeah. So I was in Florida. Um, actually, like maybe like like end of last year. Uh huh. And I'd be walking to this. T- amazing like spot like an outdoor spot called the wharf they have like one in like every like little major city in within the south south florida area mm-hmm. so i seen this like sh- smaller haitian guy like smaller haitian yeah, guy i'm like i'm cool with it i see the young zo right <laughs> so i seen the young zo and he was like scoping shorty and then he tapped his mans to have his mans scope shorty Ooh. right so now i'm like these niggas think i am pussy Oh yeah, I am not pussy. <laughs> so I chilled though. I'm not like I'm not that type of dude. So I chilled. I chilled. Mm-hmm. I watched Buddy walk back and forth between my girl, maybe four times within the course of an hour. Did was he? Did he say anything? No, nothing. Okay. And then like, but like the initial time he pointed to his man's again to like yo peep, and it, like at this point the disrespect is at an no, all time no, high. No, at this point like they. Like you think you're pussy? Yeah, no, no. I'm not, I'm, at this point, she's just there with her homegirls, <laughs> <laughs> right? So now he's finally walking back, but this time he's with a girl. Interesting, okay. right? Um, and he's walking back, and he could walk around my girl, but he needed to bump Shorty and put his arm around her back for the bump. Well, guess what? <laughs> I am also from Queens. <laughs> yo, my nigga, are you good? I had to talk to him real quick, so I pulled him over to the side. Yo, yeah. Sam, fam, what's good? Are you good? Ah, oh, what are you talking about? What am I talking about? You've been looking at my girl all night. Niggas is so confused. And now you have to touch her? Niggas is so confused. What's up? <laughs> what's up? But this is the best part of the entire story, right? Shout out to Kim. So then the girl he's with is like, what's up with y'all? Who are you talking to? Kim was like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Your man been looking at me all night. And I was like, that's my girl. That's the one, and it was it was it was great. It was great. That. that was a great time. That's a great fucking story. That's a great time, man. That is a great yeah, fucking story. That happened. Wow. Yeah. Good times. Good times, man. It's 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 very easy to be unfaithful. It's 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 easier for you to fall to right now. You can fall right now. You can fall into this trap right now. It's How? at your it's at your fingertips because you can scroll at what's her name's name and 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 send her a DM right now. And it can be harmless in your eyes because it's nah, but niggas quick. know when shit is harmless niggas, and when it's niggas not. Niggas know, niggas. Know. I know when I've sent a DM with harm. Yeah, I know when I've been oh. very harmful, not harmless. Right, 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 right. And uh, yeah, because change I don't, a man. Look at the range. I think for <laughs> no range, Honda Accord, but still. I, I just can't deal with that tap on the What's shoulder. The tap on the sh- what do you mean? The, tap on you the know, shoulder? like tap the, on the shoulder. Like oh, what? tap on the shoulder. Like, yeah, like, 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 like you know, she said, tap on the shoulder and I'll roll over. I, it's a I, thing. It's a thing. I've tried. I've tapped on the shoulder before. See, and you've is that a bad and thing? you've got it the head and you've got it the head booty. as well. You, yeah. No, I've done that. I don't like and you're the, the only... rub the booty thing. If I'm like in deep sleep and all I get is a rub, it if you're in deep sleep do... and you and you feel like a remote control on your back, oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> you guys think that because either there's a tap on the shoulder, a rub on the booty, or a remote control in your back, that we're supposed to just wake up and be like. We need something to bring it down. It's not just like wet we're, 24-7. We're, Don't work we're trying, that way. No, we're trying to bring it down. Not and doing that's, this. That's not, not that. That's not, not that way. No, no. <laughs> Some sort of like communication <laughs> deepness needs but to see, happen. But see, that's the thing. The thing is- We're like, trying to get to deepness. That the problem is- <laughs> William wears his hair, his hat backwards and puts on Tim's. I am like, ooh. When he wears his hat that, backwards yes, and puts on I, Tim's. So, I feel like he looks like that all the time. And that's why I'd be like, ooh. That's, that's, all the time. That's what I like. I like his that. attitude yeah. is shit sometimes. You'd be like, mm-hmm. babe, you look just like Method Man. I want my man to look stronger than me. Like, I don't want a man that looks all manicured. I need him to be kind of rough. 
clean but rough. There's mm-hmm. like a mm-hmm. middle ground. Yeah. Clean but rough. I like that. Yeah. That's, that's a yeah. good look. Attractive. Not necessarily like thug, but you like that I don't roughness, want that edge. Dusty, but Not I want dusty. That edge. You want that yeah. edge. Mm-hmm. What's that medium though? Because I feel like from dusty to that <laughs> edge, no. it's like a very fine line. Because <laughs> if you're on that edge for more than two or three days, then you're dusty. They know how to put it together well. Right. And they don't realize how sexy they are Mm -hmm. to us when we see them put it together, whether it's like some sweatpants, you know, the gray ones, the black ones, whatever. We like that shit. The dick print ones. Oh, y'all just went right to it. Okay. (laughs) Yeah, just just, just get right to it. How do you guys do that? How do you guys remind them like, hey, I'm not just a mom. I'm not just this person that's going to, you know, go to Target on Sunday. (laughs) You know what? For me, it's simple. It's like, putting on some sweatpants in the house that hugs my booty. And he sees that, you know, and he likes that. He's mm-hmm. an ass man, so he's always on my ass. You know, and that that mm-hmm. kind of works. Good to know who you're good to know your audience. Well I I I still struggle with that. So I don't I don't I don't know. What do you mean? How do you uh, in what ways do you feel like you struggle with it? Because like after like like after like giving birth and stuff, like my, my weight had skyrocketed. So I'm not that same Sex. Hold on, hold on. Let me reverse. I'm still the baddest bitch he's ever been with. Hey, hey. However, I'm just a little heavier than I like. So for me, I feel a little, mm, and I don't know how to show him that I'm still like Raquel. I think he likes that mm, though. I think he likes it. I yeah. haven't heard a complaint about it. Neither have I. So then it's working, <laughs> bitch. I think the benefit to being in those partnerships is the the history and the trust and the communication. Mm-hmm. And I think like we talked about social media sometimes, sometimes you feel like, you know, I, I, like you know, even people younger than me, they feel like they have to make themselves like available or seen to a bunch of different entities, you know, that mm-hmm. don't really matter. And what you guys are saying is that like you put the energy into that one person, to this one union, to this one relationship. And even if other like, bad shit is coming at your at your ways like you guys have like these fallbacks and this foundation to go to to kind of get shit going back on track yeah i definitely wouldn't want to be single in this era. no this shit sucks no. yeah it's like i i feel for all my single home girls and what they're going through <laughs> it's rough out here in these streets stay I would, up I, sisters stay I, up, I, I stay up. <laughs> listen stay up brothers Yo, don't it's not just the sisters do. i wouldn't know what to do like no nah. I, I don't know what to do <laughs> we don't know we don't know what to do and it's th- it's funny like I, I was listening to a podcast earlier today and um, one of the things is like when it's like being single out here, like there's no rules. Right. There are no rules. There's no rules. It's the Wild West. Yeah. It really is. And nobody, I, I spoke about this on like a, a podcast two episodes ago, but like even when there's no rules, it means there's no accountability. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And there's there's no one saying, hey, like I, I should probably try to be a transparent, honest person, even if I'm single and I'm dating. I noticed that one of the bigger uh, things that are happening now it's like the whole ghosting thing, like you yeah. know. Oh, yeah. Let's not. Let's. I mean, I have to. I have to say it because I think I heard somebody. It was a teenager. I'm not gonna say who it was. Uh huh. But they pretty much were talking, and they said that yeah, you know, we don't do that anymore. We just stop contacting them. And I'm like, yeah, no one what? breaks up anymore. No one breaks up anymore. There's no. There's no. The, there's no quitting in a relationship. It's just, yeah. it's just you just stop. You, you just be stop. like. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I used to, I knew you, and I used to know you. That's it. That's There's it. No, that's all you're gonna get. That's all you're gonna get. I've I've ghosted in my in my day. You've ghosted. I've yeah. ghosted in my day. See? Yeah. Um, yeah. Was this up. person a serious person that you were? No, dating? absolutely not. Okay, so that's different. No, I saw them one time and I ghosted. Oh well, that's different. But I feel like the ghosting thing is so cowardly. It is cowardly. I was a coward. I was pussy. Yes. Yeah, you can't do that in real relationships. I guess yeah, no, no, you can't. You which just, is why I, it doesn't which is, work. Which is why, like, I will always have a reverence for you know real relationships. Yeah. Where, where if things are going really bad and things need to change, then that conversation is had, that communication is had, that face to face is had, and you either figure out whether it's something you're gonna work out or, or something you're gonna walk out. Go for ahead. me, in particularly, it's like blood in, blood out. It's like yeah. a gang initiation for mm-hmm. me. Like <laughs> I already told. You like that too. You <laughs> either in or you out. In or you out. <laughs> That's it. There's no middle ground. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's, there's no, there's no gray areas. There's that no that gray work. areas. You know, I, my man already knows like you ain't going nowhere unless mm-hmm. some blood is shed. 
you guys are right. You guys are dropping gems. Knowledge. I'm learning. I might not use all of this knowledge because, you know. Listen, we're not telling you to go cry on some girl's show. No, oh, no I'm not doing that. Day, like, you know, if <laughs> Don't not, do that. <laughs> if you're not feeling a chick or whatever, just like how I said, like, you know, this was great, but it's not working out. That person might feel hurt at that moment, but at least the question is answered and there's no miscommunication. There's no misunderstanding. Yeah, like, I mean, the door is closed versus just disappearing. Oof. Like, if we weren't... how was like seeing you every single day? You was texting me every single day, and now I can't even get in contact with yeah. you. Yeah, I mean, God I don't created think that's right. God yeah, created the block, so. the block feature for a oh, reason. Oh shit! God did not create that. The Lord Who have mercy. It, my my my. Who created when the block G- feature? When God, Steve Jobs. Steve, I, I'm not saying Steve Jobs is God, but God created Steve Jobs. <sighs> Ooh, what's the next topic? But Rory is in a, in a pickle right now. This okay. is definitely off the last dance, but I was just listening today, and I thought about this because I think about these things. Uh-huh. But Rory's in a little pickle. Okay. Which his buddy, Chris Stiles, still has not put Ooh, it to rest. We're doing this. He has, not put <laughs> it to, he has not put it to rest yet, by the way. He, I think he went on live yesterday. No, he didn't. Yeah, he, he, he claimed that he had receipts and he was going on live. Um, I didn't tune in because <laughs> adult. So Rory and Chris Stiles are best friends. They are yeah. fraternity brothers. They are two people who have shared... A career together, countless of memories, um, and Rory has been on record prior to this saying that this is my best friend. Yep. Right? Mm-hmm. Not talking about that, though. Your best friend's getting married. Mm-hmm. Okay? I'm Chris Stiles for Kicks and Giggles. You're Rory. You're getting married. Am I inviting you to the wedding? My question, my question is, is layered. Oh, go ahead. Uh, and Like, we're boys. Yep. Let's say, for this particular story, Chris Stiles is going to be the best man. All right, Ooh. let's let's filter it down. Uh-huh. So now my because he was at the he was at the he's at everything. Of course, my best. Are you my best man? Are you in my wedding party? Are you invited to my wedding? Niggas know when their friends are scumbags. You do. You know. I just I just want to put you that know. out there. If you're close enough to, if you say you're close to a guy, close to a friend, you know when your friend is a scumbag. Uh, we've had this conversation before. You know that friend that when you guys go out to the club, they're just a little bit more aggressive with women than they should be can i, can I go on record saying that i actually would only want to hear like maybe it's probably like three people in this world i will be comfortable hearing them speak game to a girl yeah everybody else i don't want to hear what you have to say because y'all niggas is crazy wild what wild you feel me like like i'm like what? oh that's how you get like when you hear how you how your dogs are giving it up you're like, oh nah. It's it's like what? And then they be like, yo, put me on. And I'm like, put you on? Do you hear <laughs> how you speak to women? Yeah, I know my friend is a scumbag. But I also know oh, we could we should, we could do a deep dive on this, but we're not gonna do a deep dive on this. I just wanna know if he's gonna be in your wedding party. No. Wow. Can't. I hit I hit my group chat with my fellows today, and they said, um, it depends on a couple of different things, but ultimately your wife has the end the end all be all. Because I know my wife's not okay with that. No woman should be okay with that. Yeah. And man. if my wife's not okay with that, her maid of honor's not okay with that. Yeah. And if yeah. there's, there's some, not be around. There's somebody that's in that wedding party that's not okay with that. There's somebody in the audience. There's That's tough though. My there's my future wife's sister or cousin or mom. There is a woman in that audience that has been in a situation with a man that's been way too aggressive with them. I hear you. And seeing him up there is going to be triggering. And the reason he's up there is because of you. So you need to make that choice and just say, fuck it. Like, it's not a thing that's happening. That takes the attention off of your wedding. I agreed. All agreed. But for me, during this entire thing, my biggest emphasis and focus has been watching and analyzing the value of friendship and relationships. Right? Like yeah. just the val- just the value of it. And it's like, okay, cool. So same situation. You're my best friend. Like you were there for my engagement. You were there when I met Shorty. You mm-hmm. were also there when like I had rough times and good times and glorious times. Like, yes, it's my day. Yes, it is my moment. But like, like honestly, if I didn't have like my best friend on my side, like I wouldn't have I don't know how I would have gotten through the things I would have went through. Not to say I would have gone through them, but I don't know how I would have done it without my best friend. So now it's my day to celebrate because marriage is, is a combination of all different things. I'm celebrating the love, the matrimony, but also I'm celebrating you, the guests, the people who've been here, seen us to this point. So now does he, for, he, he, doesn't, he didn't get that right at all. After you do what you do and it comes out, you don't get that right. You don't get, you don't, you don't get to experience more. Okay. 
you've experienced what you've experienced. And like I said, it's bigger than it's bigger than the race. The, the scenario that you painted for me is bigger than the relationship between them. It's way it's bigger than their history. I'm like you said, like if I know I got a boy that's a scumbag that talks to women crazy, I'm not putting him on with with a with a not friend that I have. On. Not I'm not putting, putting you on. Not even putting you on. I'm not putting you in the same room. I'm not, not inviting you to the same event. And honestly, like all the friends that I've had in the past that I knew were scumbags or talked to chicks crazy, I don't even know them niggas anymore. Right, right. To be to be a hundred percent clear with you, just like I said about the bad dad thing. Like, if my friends were my close friends were bad dads, I don't know if I could be friends with them. Yeah, no, that's out. I'm sad for the kid. For who? Trevor, I am sad for Chris Styles. You're wildin'. I am sad for him that he allowed the way he moves with women to mess up everything good in his life. Can I be sad for that? But that's how it ha- that but that's how it goes though. How you treat people is how you like it. I can be sad. I don't know if, I'm sad that it happened to him. I don't I'm know not s- sad that he did any of the things that he did. I'm sad that like, you know what? Another young African American male who was making his way in in this in society didn't have what it t- took to be a better dude, to restrain himself, to be a, to be an adult, to be have I am respect not saying any of for the women around him. But that's the thing. Like I, for me, I think it's two sides of the fence, right? It's like you can feel bad that the situation happened, but it's like I'm gonna feel I'm gonna feel worse for the chicks that he invited over to his place. Didn't give him pussy. No, I feel bad. And he for called that, them all the sure. names under all the names under the sun. Kicked them out the house. Didn't like provide them with a way to get home. The chicks that when he was at Duce Palooza just <laughs> pulled up their shirt to flash their titties without them giving permission. The chicks that got yeah, drunk that he was fucking around, dick. smack. I'm not. I don't feel sorry for this nigga at all. You want to know why? I don't because feel if, sorry that's, for him. if that's if that's if that's my if my shorty says she wants to go to Duce Palooza and runs into this nigga and I hear this, I'm running down on this nigga. So no, I don't feel bad at all. I am with you. I'm with you. I just feel. I'm not sad. Is, is it? I'm not sad like poor Chris. I'm just sad like damn like look at that opportunity and, and squandered. And, and yeah. Squandered. That, that's what I'm sad about. I'm 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 sad at the opportunity that was given and placed in front of him to better his life and his family's life and to live a life where like yo fam like I could wake up at eleven o'clock today and not have to worry about work till six o'clock, which is a party tonight, by the way. But what did I tell you? I, I, when that, this whole thing happened, I said I hope he saved his money. I hope he saved his money. That's it. That's all you can hope. That's all you can hope. Because ultimately, of course, like he did all these bad things, but we're not going to sit here and like wish the worst things in the world to happen to him or wish ill will on him. Like the only thing you're going to wish is that he gets better, right. that he gets the help sure. that he needs. For sure. Because niggas walking around with that mentality need help. No, absolutely. Absolutely. I, I don't know. I, was, I don't even know how he got on that, but I was thinking about that today. And I was like, I it's cool. It's cool to address it. It's good content. I think, I think, I think, it's, I, I think it's big. That's um, going to be a great YouTube video. <laughs> we're gonna play would you rather we're each gonna go five uh since josh is my guest he's gonna go first wow we will uh figure out what we would rather do in these um extreme situations and scenarios and hopefully you guys find it very entertaining all right so let's go i'm all over the place with these questions honestly okay um there's no like there's no fluidity to it it's just man you go i go that's it all right cool. yeah, 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 yeah so my first question for you since you're uh you're a personal trainer uh-huh. uh, is would you rather have lipo okay and have the perfect body uh-huh and never have to work out again or would you rather work for your body oh you went like i've i've I posted like ridiculous nasty <laughs> shit you went like real stuff okay um <laughs> i remember i have to play it safe at all times you do have to play it safe. At all times. I wasn't going to ask about the freaky. <laughs> I wasn't doing that. No. Um, but yeah, I just, yeah. Rather work for my body. Yeah. No surgeries, no lipos. No, I'm good. Work for the body. Absolutely. Respect. All time, all day. Hit me. All right. Um, would you rather lick the bottom of a homeless woman's feet? Oh, this is what we do it. <laughs> you gave me back. You gave me back. Okay. You would you rather back. lick the bottom of a homeless woman's feet God, or eat moldy bread? I'm eating moldy bread. Ew, that's, that's easy. Eating moldy bread? Easy. I'm talking about like moldy, like Trevor, green, don't tell me what you're talking about. You, like moldy bread, moldy bread. I'm eating moldy green, bread. Green, furry, moldy okay? bread. Okay, and you're talking about the city, the streets of New York City, homeless person hasn't showered in months. Yeah. Okay. Damn, uh, your questions are, you have the. You my have, questions are disgusting. I'm sorry. Yeah, you have disgusting it questions. Might, they might get you in I trouble. I'm mad practical. That's fine with me. <laughs> I'm mad practical. 
Tell me about Trevor questions. Go. <laughs> Would you rather Trevor questions? <laughs> oh my God. Would you rather start your life from day one? <laughs> I didn't know how serious. I didn't know how. Uh, Go ahead. Would you rather start your life from day one or continue where you're at right now? Oh. So you get you get a brand new start. You get to do things differently, um, completely different from day one. But you have to go through all thirty plus years again. No, I'm I'm good. I'm good, good from where I'm yeah, at right now. Okay, yeah, cool. I'm not doing that. That's that was a lot of work. It's yeah, a lot of yeah, work yeah, to get here. For sure, for sure, for sure. That was a lot of work. I'm definitely I'm good where I'm at. Okay. Gotta you know thank God okay. for that. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh would you rather would you rather eat period pussy or eat ass? Yo, Travis, I'm eating ass. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's no brainer. I mean that's you're choosing shit over blood. Would I would I rather eat a period pussy? Yes. Or ass? Or eat ass. General yeah. ass? Eating ass, yeah. General ass, yeah. Regular Not g- shitty ass. I mean, Ass is always shitty to a certain extent, nah, right? It's not. Ass is ah. always shitty to a <laughs> Y'all see Trevor's questions, bro? I'm eating ass oh, before I eat period pussy. Boy. Period pussy is wild. Yeah, period pussy is wild. I'm eating ass. Period pussy is wild. All right, go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. Free. I'm, just, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, would you rather season tickets uh, in the nosebleed for a year? Uh huh. Or courtside seats for one game of your choice by your team's bench. Courtside. Yeah. Courtside, easy. That experience. You got, you got captions. I love that. Huh? Tripping nets, sitting courtside. <laughs> you want to freak? You want to be home so bad? You want to freak it so bad? Okay. So oh uh, man, definitely could sit courtside. Courtside one game. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Cool. I don't Cause know. Because I'll, I'll take pictures and and memories I will, forever. Yeah, memories forever, man. Okay. Absolutely. Fair. All right. <laughs> Your mind is ridiculous. Uh, all right. Would you hey, rather? Hold on. You don't eat ass? No, I don't eat ass. Okay. Cool. Just... <laughs> all right. This is the after show, guys. Uh, all right. So, <laughs> would no. you rather? Would you rather get a penis tattoo on your forehead, or lose your right hand? Come on. <laughs> How big is the penis tattoo on my forehead? It's big. It's no. A, it's a big penis tattoo on your forehead. It's like. Like the whole side of your Can it be like a teardrop? But it'd be just be dick. Just be a teardrop is the nuts. <laughs> just, just. <laughs> nah, it's the dick. Just, just right dick. down on the forehead. Right down the forehead. Or lose a hand. Or lose my hand. I'm not yeah. losing my hand. Dick tattoo. On the forehead? It's there forever. Yeah. Okay. But I'm embra- like I'm embracing that forever. Like I'm dickhead forever. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't call me Josh. I'm dickhead. And we just gonna ride this out. If you own it, people won't fuck I'm with you. I'm owning this shit. Yeah, people Damn, won't fuck with you. If you own it. Head, yeah, dickhead. <laughs> That's me. God damn. Um, Trevor's questions. <laughs> I'm about to give you a question on the fly. Go okay? ahead. Give you a question on the fly. Go because, ahead. Anything goes. Um, well, I actually, I, I, my, my last question will be on the fly. Okay. My, I, I'll delete my question number four. <laughs> I'll ask you my last question. Would you rather 10 minutes of bad sex or one minute of good sex? Ooh. I mean, as a guy. We get one good minute. It's, 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 Boy, that shit fire. fire. <laughs> that shit was crazy. One minute ain't shit for y'all, but for us. It was nuts. It was literally, literally nuts. Yeah. See, I'm going with the one minute. Absolutely. Yeah, no brainer. Yeah, no that's, brainer. That is, that's, that's not a tough choice at Your all. Your question. All right, my question. Would you rather give a full body massage to Rick Ross after his workout or bite off the tail of a scorpion? <laughs> Yo, you're nuts, bro. You're nuts. <laughs> Why were you sitting here thinking about Rick Ross' butt ass after a workout and getting rubbed on? Why was that? Like, why was I'm thinking over here? Like, would you rather be financially <laughs> set or <laughs> and, do and, what you love? Like, no. Nah. And, and every time you rub his shoulder, she says, "Huh." <laughs> <laughs> Yo, huh? On the shoulder rubs? <laughs> I'm not rubbing shoulders more than once. Ooh, so what would you rather? What, um, are you, what are you doing? So Rick Ross versus what? Uh, it is give uh, Rick Ross a full body massage after a workout. He's sweaty and hairy. Or, or bite off the tail of a scorpion. 
I'm, I'm rubbing down Ricky. <laughs> I'm rubbing down Ricky Rose. I'm rubbing down Ricky Rose. You know the vibes. Rubbing a glass of oh. Bel Air. Yeah. Oh, oh, but, oh, come on. That's, I tell you, listen, if you're going to do it, embrace it. I am a black bottle boy. <laughs> <that>. <laughs> You feel me? I'm Mr. Black Bottle Boy. Oh, man. All okay. Right. Go ahead. Off the fly. Okay. Would you rather... God damn it. <laughs> Missionary. Okay. With the person you love, only missionary though, with the person you love for uh-huh. the rest of your life. Okay. Only missionary. Mm-hmm. Every day, missionary. Okay. Or would you rather, or, or have freaky deaky sex, but never find the person you love for the rest Ooh. of your life? So, like, you have them fire sex, fire, fire people all the time, different positions, go crazy, but you're never going to be with one person. You're always going to have to live this life of a bachelor. That was a good one. That was deep and nasty at the same time. Deep and nasty. Uh, pause. Pause. Whoa. 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 <laughs> what? Oh, shit. Yo, deep and nasty. Deep, is wild. deep and nasty is wild. What are we? What are we doing here? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. Um. I mean, I would answer this question differently before my thirties, but I'm gonna go with the missionary with the person you love. Yeah, I'm soft. It is what it is. Fuck it. Big cuddles. Big cuddles. Big cuddles afterwards. Big C's. Yes. Yes. Big spoon, little spoon. Big spoon. Oh, that's whack. What are you talking that's about? Whack. That's whack. That's How can whack. I beat a little spoon? I got, I would have it. I'm 6'2". I would need a chick that was like 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, nah. It's not like that. It's not about that. What is it about? Have you ever been a little spoon before? I've never been a little spoon. Oh, you're whack. Nigga, <laughs> oh, my whack. Nigga's not living, man. <laughs> you don't even, you don't even, you don't even, you don't even ask. You don't even ask. Like, you're not living. You're not living. You're not living. <laughs> I'm listen. I'm I'm big spooning. I'm good, bro. Little try next time you're with someone that you want to be with. Have them have them a little uh, big spoon you. No, thank you. You will feel so loved. No, thank you. I've done. I like when like you know when like a girl you like 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 hugs you from behind. Yeah, you like that. I like that. Okay, imagine that in bed. Amazing. Anyway, next next question. I'm never gonna be. Boy. I'm never gonna be. I'm never gonna be little spoon ever in life. Uh, all right, so my last one. Yes. Uh, would you rather? Would you rather be forced to watch a gay porn, or be forced to watch senior citizens have sex? So you have to watch. I'm the, watching seniors have sex. I didn't finish. I don't care because I you. added. I added some things. Added some things. Uh, so you watch the gay porn just one time, one one shot deal, little thirty minute guy on guy action, uh, and then. <laughs> oh, the, I hate this <laughs> nigga, bro. So um. Uh, but the senior citizens, you have to watch that for 48 hours straight. Eyes open on the TV. Come on. Aunt Jemima and Uncle hours Ben and getting done? it in. Yeah, 48 hours and you're done. Is Aunt- the old lady cute? She old. Doesn't matter. Is she cute? Uh, no. Come on, bro. Give me something here. No, she's not cute. The gay porn guys, they're very attractive. But the old ladies, the old lady is not cute. No. <laughs> <laughs> 48 hours is 48 nuts. hours eyes open just like wrinkle on wrinkle life alert bracelet up against life alert bracelet <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get out of the Pornhub search bar <laughs> you gotta get out of that search bar yo that search bar is nuts Trevor has ran out of things to watch during this quarantine it's pretty I really have That's funny. is I, that the era that we're in now rappers making music for TikTok I'm not ready for that's that. That's a thousand percent. Not, nope, not ready for it. Drake, did, he, he had no shame in the game. But that's just not my bag. It's, it's not my bag. I don't know if it's me being like a stubborn old guy. No, it's me being I'm a stubborn old guy. But like TikTok, like my girlfriend would be on that joint. She would just be laughing and I'd be like, yo, what's that? And I'd look and I'd be like, oh, that is kind of funny. It's it's funny, but I'm not going to do it. I'm way too cool. Can't. I'm way too cool. Can't do it. Way too cool. I can't be on. They're going to see me on TikTok. He's like, what is this old nigga doing on TikTok? Yeah, no way. But the old heads are on it though. With their kids. Yeah, yo, let me say something about those kids. They got that on lock. There's a story a few months ago that the Chinese own TikTok, and they're basically taking your likeness and taking your face and like storing it in a database somewhere in. in Wouldn't be in surprised. Wuhan. They already know what I want to buy. Of course, right they know now what you want after to buy. this, I'm going to get my entire grocery list when I scroll through Instagram timeline, or on Amazon. On Amazon, also right there. 
But yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too see sliding on TikTok. You I'm not should, doing anything on TikTok. You, you know what? As a creative, though, you might, you might be able to kill TikTok, though. With this, with this con, this content would go would would go well on TikTok because I'm not. The thing is, is like I'm not dancing. Nah, I'm I'm saying, but like you made a, a feature film for your cousin's birthday. <laughs> shout out. You actually might have what it takes to kill TikTok. I could try it with some fitness shit. I could try that. A lot of people do fitness stuff on TikTok. Don't it's s- not just tootsie sliding on TikTok. You're really gonna convince me to create a fucking TikTok. Take a look. Take a gander. They got fitness stuff. They got cooking stuff. You know what I did think about creating for fitness? What I did think about creating an OnlyFans. Hmm. A lot of time by myself. Yo, you you gonna have to get some fashion over fits for that though. Some fashion over fits yeah, for my yeah. uh, for my OnlyFans. From, some risque, uh, <laughs> risque fashion over for men. For for the fans only. I don't know if I want to go on Yo, that. They're making bread. Some John some John bought a house. It was on a. Uh, I did see that shit. That. Yeah. She bought a house from rubbing her clit on uh, She said her dream OnlyFans. house. Because y'all sickos are subscribing for $19.99 a month. Yes, they are. <laughs> yes, just see, they are. Just to see what I see on Quarantine Radio. <laughs> Leche, okay? What's up with these niggas, bro? Oh, man. It's never okay for a man to put his hands on a woman. And I feel like if you're in the position to have an impact, to, you know, to have that conversation where it can not get out of hand... I, I would say, but it's hard. Like you just said, like it's, it's so hard. And when it comes to hip hop, it's like, if Emily is not making a huge like, right. fuss about it, right. should that's, that's the rest point. of the community. Great, great, yeah. great. But I think the rest of the community should. We we should, but it's just like, Why? but how far can it go? If like, to what extent? To what, I mean, what, the, what thing is, the, the thing is, no, let me, let me backtrack. I need to be careful with my words here. Just because we see it doesn't make it right. Fact. Very true. And so understanding and outlining for the girls that come behind, right? The young girls in the future and even the older ones highlighting like this is not healthy. This is not correct. But this is the life that she chose. But that starts from along. And, and it's it gets to the point where it's like Emily probably absolutely probably knows what that physical pain feels like. She lost teeth. Boom. But that but that physical pain to her doesn't match, you know, living in a two bedroom in, in Forest Hills. We, we we can we can we can discuss. She's not gonna live that life. No, my thing is like to your like to your question is like what? Because you think that we should care. I think that we should care. Yeah, I really we like, should. And we I should. think that we should right. care. We right. should. I agree. We're on agreement. To what extent do we care? I think we care up to the extent that we can, that we're allowed to. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, right. Holding accountable, what does that asking look like? right. asking questions, saying, right. "Hey, Fab, like your music's great, great career. Like, what happened here? Like, have you gotten help?" Like what's going? Like what's, do we stop listening like, to like fabs, what's going music? on? Like how do we? How do we make? Because we're fans. So me mm-hmm. and your comments. You're not reading the comments to see what Trevor no. Trev Five said on Monday. So how do we as fans mm-hmm. make an impact or show that we are not with this type of behavior? How do we show hip hop that we don't condone beating our girls? I mean, there's only one way, and that's in the in the like in the pocketbook. Yeah. There's only one. So it's in the pocketbook of the wallet. Right. That's it. I, I, it's I, it's like not. It's like not going to the shows. It's like there was a very long time that I didn't listen to any of Chris Brown's music. Right. Very long that, time. Was a, that was a movement. Ext- that extremely was a movement. long time. Because I saw that. I saw Rihanna's face. We could see that. That was, yeah. And I was, was, I was, it, was it was hard. And to this point in time, it's hard for me to like look at Chris Brown and think of him as a man. Not just because of that, but because of the stuff with Karuchi, her having a restraining order, him stalking her. Yeah, he's a, um, you know, he's wild, wild case. Like wild the case. drugs that he uses. Like, and, but there are so many other women. Have you seen like comments under Chris Brown pictures? I take a beating. I take that beating. That's what that's what all the comments were after Rihanna got got beat up on her yeah. way to the Grammys. Yeah, it's like that, it, no, that, that screenshot that, that, that you just, had. The, inter- the yeah. internet, the internet is a terrible place. The internet is no, no, a no, god but, awful but, but, place. but you have to understand it's 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 like it's a representative. House. It's like funhouse mirrors. Like somewhere in there, there's a there's a regular mirror, right? But you know that no two mirrors are the same, right? Right. And so we see things, you know, the big, low, high, low, whatever, fat, wise, skinny, whatever. And so that's what we're seeing. Like we're seeing the girls who are just like, we hate you, Chris Brown. And you see the woman. I love you, Chris Brown. Even when she's, he said something about like nappy hair or something like that. And Kelly Rowland was yeah. like, we love you, Chris Brown. And I was like, what the fuck is this? Like Kelly, talk about the memo that you just missed. He said something colorist also. He said, he he said light skin. Yeah. yeah, Chris Brown. Chris Brown's yeah. wild, dog. He's a wild yeah. boy. And then, but but like a few albums ago, he did have something about dark skin women no, he on, on on the album. And then he and then like today, like fast forward, he's talking about colorism and stuff like that. And then Kelly Rowland is supporting him. And I'm like, girl, like with all the stuff that you said you've been through, 
this is not the time. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Especially with goes back to it, right? Like knowing reading the room, knowing the time, like we were talking about before with, the, with Tory Lanez, like reading the room and knowing that this is not the time to be on any other side. Yeah. So like, so like Kelly Rowland, like nah, bro. Like Chris Brown's clearly on the side supporting all types of African American women. So you, you know what I mean? We can't go in there picking and choosing and, and, and figuring out what side is the best side. Like we need it just. All love for all, respect right. for all, like not abusing all, right? Mm. Doesn't make anyone better than anyone, you know. What I mean, like it's tough right now. Um, the last thing I'll get to, um, in this article, they brought up Russell Simmons, and this is like mm. a this was a thing for me also when he was on the Breakfast Club. Um, uh, and they had him on the Breakfast Club. I'll, I'll, I'll like quote, um, a quote from the article. Uh, the author says, It's just shocking that a credibly accused serial rapist was tapped by one of the biggest nationally syndicated black shows to talk about the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, there was a documentary on HBO Max that came out about the accusations surrounding uh, Russell Simmons and his sexual abuse and rape and sexual harassment allegations. Mm-hmm. Um, there's not been... I haven't seen anybody sit down with Russell Simmons and really like give a definitive question <laughs> to these accusations. It kind of seems like he just left the country... Went to Bali, uh, like has has been meditating for the past like f- three or four years, and hasn't been like you know taken to task for some of these allegations. And it kind of you know brings up the same point. It's like in hip hop, is it possible for these figures who kind of like Russell Simmons is like a Mount Rushmore type figure in hip hop? Is still? it? Huh? Is he still? I mean, yeah, yeah, think Rushmore. About- yeah, Rushmore. Because yeah. like, yeah, yeah, the slave owners on Rushmore. You right? You right? <laughs> <laughs> There. Yeah, you never miss. You like you never miss a shot. Like you just <laughs> you just like just all just from the free throw the line two, always. Three. Indeed. Uh but yeah, like is there is, is there a way to actually like hold these guys accountable? And like should we like the Breakfast Club or Hot 97 or Big Boy or any of these like figures who have risen to prominence that kind of like are the voices of our of our culture? Like should they be held accountable? I think we hit him where it hurts. Hit him where it hurts because, like, what? I, we, you're Russell Simmons. I'm Josh Cloud. And hey, bro, the way you're giving it up, it's not cool. It's not cool. Yeah. What do you think about that? Nothing, because you don't care, right? You're so far removed from what the public thinks. You're in a different bracket. So, like, if we the public want to make an impact, I feel like we the public, like, or we want to get our message across, we have to like either just stop supporting them. But you can't, like, the money's already in bag. He's gone. Oh, yeah, he's already the in. Money's gone. His I money's, no longer I mean, support Russ, right? Like, right. I no longer support. Like, it's like at that moment. Like, but that there's moment, nothing really to support. Like, the money's in the bag and he's gone. So Literally. There's, like, there's nothing we so can do the, the only part, like, it, I can say if you say this about Fabulous, Tory Lanez, but like Mount Rushmore, like, they dead. Yeah, it's they're that, all dead. That so. etching is not coming out the mountain. Right. I mean, it can. You can it blow can. it up. Word. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one of the last quotes, uh, what we're seeing in the spate of collective voices of black women who have been systematically exploited, abused, harassed and pushed out is something that's long overdue. Um, society still does not hold black men, irrespective of their social status, accountable for their crimes against black women. So then it's is it a black man of a certain status or a man of a certain status gets away with with this treatment? Status Everybody, gives you anybody access. with status gets away with the truth. It's money treatment. and violence, yo. I'm keep telling y'all that that money and violence combination um, for power. Um, and so, like, he's safe for now. I mean, we could say like, you know, Bill Bill Cosby or whatever. But like, if no one cares about Russell Simmons, if mainstream doesn't care about Russell Simmons, mm-hmm. he can go about his way. He's quote unquote doing their job. You know, he's doing the job for them. Indeed, so, absolutely. It doesn't matter. It is hard. It's hard to hold them accountable, even in the, in the case of Bill Cosby. He's already old and will be dead. You're right. For the old heads, it's hard. Yeah. It's in the next, you know, but, but you know, in the, the, next power, 10 months. the power in him wasn't his existence. It was the shows and the impact the shows had in syndication. Indeed. That's what I'm looking at and realizing now. Absolutely. And that's why so you pull him, arrest him, and then take out the shows in syndication. And so this family structure and these ideals and um, ways of living that we used to see and um, help guided us are no longer there. And now you replace it with love and hip hop. Okay, let me ask you a question. I, I got to play both sides, man. I'm sorry. I got to play both sides. Do right? it. Yo, police, let's say police get their shit together. Like they're, they're, they're working on their shit. Are we now, 
going in our communities and getting our shit together too? Because it has to be both sides. But we're not killing cops. Cops are killing us. Trev, we got that, right? But let's stop. Like, why are we, why are we still putting ourselves in positions? Like, some of them are, I get it. Some of them are random pullovers. Some of them are random this. Some of them are sexual abuse. But also, like, we are, do, we do things that draw attention to us. I, I don't. Know I don't. That people have a target on our back. And I don't. That's a fact. I don't want to get in that bag because not everyone. We, there's been no, 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 not everyone. There's been multiple innocent killings. Got it. But, with, but there's also but, been killings where it's like somebody's like, yo, like this person is maybe felt uncomfortable. This person is doing this crime, that crime, where a police has to pull up. Stop doing shit where police have to pull up. But with, but with that same thing, everybody does shit where police has to pull up. It's not just us. Everybody. The auto command with those white boys getting drunk and fucked up every week. Police got to pull up. And we don't ever, up. we don't ever hear incident about an unarmed. Actually, shit. There's there's white boys that are drunk running up to police officers that get arrested peacefully. We don't hear those stories about them going to those white bars or when the Rangers win a playoff series and they're riding up and down Madison but Square Garden. I'm not Garden white, so that shit don't fucking matter to me. My, what I'm saying is, the, like, as a, as as a black community, what are we going to like? We have to behave better. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, but the you thing don't want is, that to happen. No, no, no. But but I'm saying, well, what I'm saying is, communities have shit that happens. The response is what matters. More so than anything that happens, because the response is different if you're black. The response is different if you are in a certain community. If you are celebrating the Rangers win a playoff series or celebrating the Giants win the Super Bowl, you're responded to different. If your college team wins a championship, you're responded to different as opposed to two niggas fighting in a dice game. It's a different reaction, even though it's the same offense. It is. Cops, man. cops are coming out with that the two has niggas. To be changed. Cops are coming out with the two niggas in dice game, locked and loaded. Safety well, I off. I already said them niggas are gonna work on their the shit. The two kids fighting on but the college are we campus. Work on our shit. It's just some white kids horse playing. Boys will be boys. Trev, but we some grown. But Trev, we thirteen and we grown as ass African men. American as African American, can you sit here and say that we also have to work on our shit too? That is not our. That is not that we are not the. We are not law enforcement. We are not a government or state. We, have already we are not a government or state funded entity. Fam, we've already. All, our job is to live. Trev. And shit will happen. Just like everybody else, shit will happen. It Trev. is on them Trev. to respond if a the right way. Nigga, if a target is on your back, if a target is on your back, because you are black, you know that, right? Absolutely. Every single day when you walk out the crib, you know that, right? Big facts. Why draw attention to yourself? When you know that it's gonna be different for you, but there, but sometimes do you don't shit different. Why can't you just? Why can't we do shit? But different? La, but last week we even said you don't have to be doing anything. You can just be chilling. Dog. There's been times where I've been sitting where I've been sitting out in front of my building, and it will be me and one other Play person. Play the game. Me and I'm one, not gonna resist an arrest. Me and I'm one not gonna other get person. into an argument with you. I'm not gonna can't fight you. That. I'm not gonna have you put your hands on me unnecessary. You wanna arrest me? No problem. Cuffs. Click. Can't. Lawyer on the call. That's it. We we can't fight we can't, and resist. But, but we can't victim blame either. I'm not victim blaming, but what I'm saying is in this movement of moving forward, yeah. let's move forward as a people where we're less of a target. Well, we should have people that respond to those emergencies or events or calls that are emotionally intelligent Trevor. enough to deal with those to deal with those. Yes, cool, yeah. great. But moving forward. It's not on us. Okay. We're getting we're getting killed. We're no not killing problem. cops. So listen, listen. We're not killing cops. Gonna, they're going to go through all this work to reform the cops. And what if a miracle happens and the cops are reformed, but niggas are still acting up? Uh, cops will be reformed, and the way that they handle niggas, niggas acting up will be different. Niggas won't be dead. You don't want niggas to stop acting up in the first place? Nobody will. It's, it's, I'm it's, not talking about any of the victims. It's I'm the talking world. About, you're, niggas act up in the world. Not, it's not just that's us not that okay. act up. Why are it's, you acting up? You know, you no, 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 up? because that, but that's the world, and that's sure. why if, that's the world, and that's why there's police, and that's why police are supposed to be trained and emotionally intelligent enough to deal with niggas acting up, whether it's white niggas, black niggas, Indian niggas, Puerto Rican niggas, whether it's the Puerto Rican Day Parade, whether it that 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 but like that, victims, that outside of victims? Don Coqui, are we not? It doesn't victims? matter. <laughs> <laughs> we're victims. It don't matter. So I'm saying as people who are victimized, it is on us to say, you know what. I don't even want to be nowhere where I could be confused to be victimized. But there's people that get shot. Breonna Taylor was at home sleeping. I'm just, but I'm just, but I'm just giving, I'm just giving you facts. Like Breonna Taylor was at home sleeping. She didn't do anything. And then her man, police didn't identify themselves. Her man pulled his legal weapon out and he's on, on trial for attempted murder for protecting his home. 
We don't have to do anything. That's the point. Like, we, like if, if people were going to Brianna's Taylor house because she was a suspect, you know what you do as an emotionally intelligent police officer? You knock on the door. You identify yourself. You ask permission to come inside and ask questions. If you cannot, if you do not get that permission or you do not have a warrant, you take your ass back to the station. You don't blindly shoot into somebody's house and kill a sleeping woman. Well, you don't do that. You don't do that. But, but that's and that's, that's, what and that's about. no, no, no. no but but it, it all matters with all of these incidents, defunding, dismantling. It all matters. If you got a basketball team. And them niggas is losing 50 games a year for 10 years. You don't try to make the best of the team that you have. Them niggas got to go. With you. They got to go. I'm with you. And you need a whole new squad. Yep. Whole new squad. That's what I'm saying. Right now, the NYPD, like police in general in this country, them niggas is 0-82. We need a new squad. I was cool. Whatever. It was fine. But for whatever reason, it was different when Nate Robinson was fighting Jake Paul. Because it was the douchebag white guy, and then, like, I felt like Nate was my cousin. <laughs> right? So I felt like, damn, like, he got to put on. Like, by default, like, he can't get his ass beat by this white boy. So that's, that's the stance I'm on right now. On national television, I'm, I'm here in the mixed crowd. I don't want to see Nate lose. I'm going to tell you right now, I know a lot of niggas that have gone out in these streets, seen a white boy they think is for play play, and get knocked the fuck out. Yeah, don't sleep on the white boy. Don't, do, not, do not sleep on the white boy. Do not sleep on... Like, do you on, see, like... Don't sleep I, on people because of how don't they... Don't sleep look. on people in general. But in general. You got, it's like a certain type of white boy. Like, that Jake Paul type, like, that that bro type. Yeah. Like, you know what they do for fun? They, they punch shit. each other yeah, in the yeah, dick. They bro shit, yeah. They, they yeah, punch they each other shit. in the dick for fun. That's what white boys do. Yeah, yeah. They, they're trained. That's what they do. They punch each other in the dick. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. Go. Dude. Oh, that's what they do. <laughs> so you being goes. tough in front of them ain't going to do shit to them because yeah. they get punched in the dick by their brothers as they grow up. It's, I, I have multiple questions for you on this because the male ego, right? Yeah. And then... The willingness versus the willingness to want to do something different, right? So, like, my question for you is, if you're Nate Robinson, Mm -hmm. are you on the stance of, I'm not letting this white boy beat me up, or I want to try boxing? I want to be be really good at boxing. Like... He wanted a bag. He wanted a bag, huh? He wanted a bag, and he wanted wanted social media to be on fire after he beat up. I don't think... From Nate Robb's perspective, I don't think it had anything to do with him, like, beating this white boy's ass. I just think he wanted a bag. He probably prepped for it. He probably... um, I did see, like, an opinion where if if Nate Robb was in the, like, in the shape that he needed to be in, like, sparring-wise... Like, you got to, we got to, like, find a sparring partner and see what that was like. We got to see if he was, like, timid, if he was hesitant, if he the didn't, like, get hit team in the Reyes. face. I was so disappointed in Team fucking Reyes' displays of, of, of coaching ability. I would be but embarrassed we, to wear a Team Reyes. That he, got, he got clobbered. We got to understand something. Like, the thing about war is, like, no, who likes getting hit in the face? Most people don't. Most people don't like getting hit in the face. And, and once some most people get hit in the face, what do they do? Party done. Grand opening, grand closing. Once you get hit in the face, you got to stand in there and get hit in the face multiple times. Multiple times. And Nate, You're ducking during jabs to the face. And during sparring, Nate probably got hit in the face a bunch of times and was just like, "This ain't for me." You could just tell. I saw from the highlights. He could just, in that ring. You could tell he was like, "This ain't for me." No, the first he got hit. hit in, he got hit in the face. This ain't for me. This ain't. Yo, for, oh shit! On the this first hit, really he ain't for me. Him, he was like, "I don't want to do this." And he laid there and he contemplated. And he was like, "Ah, should I get up? Should I get up?" It was like seven second pride. Count. Pride and ego. That's why he, he got, got knocked up. out. The second hit, it was clear in his eyes, yo, Trev. Like, you see it in his eyes. I don't want to do this. I can't do this no more physically. That's 99%. why he didn't even see the last one coming. 99% of humanity does not want to get hit in the face. And once they do, it's a wrap. I just, so it is what it is. I don't think, I don't think Nate Robb really looks bad. He just he doesn't box, and he tried to box. But I think here – so my question I wrote down was – do you look bad when you go on a Zoom and you say, I'm doing it for the hood and I'm doing it for my kids, and you don't do it? Does that make you look bad? Does it matter? 
It don't. It really doesn't matter. All right, cool. So moving on. Next topic. <laughs> so um, Roy, jo- Roy, jo- uh, uh, Roy Jones was the only man alive over the age of 50 who was brave enough to say, I want to take a hit from Mike Tyson. I know that you don't care too much about this fight, but here's what mm-hmm. I will say about this fight. I, someone who never really followed boxing, or these two really, but just heard of the tales of their greatness, appreciated mm-hmm. watching old heads still be crafty in or still be masters and crafty in their sport. Mm-hmm. It was dope. Yeah. Mike still go. You feel Absolutely. me? Absolutely. All eight rounds, he still went. Um, Roy was trying some new shit with the side punch. Um, so he was like looking at you like here, but punching like this. And so it was throwing me off a little bit. I don't know if that was like his old school move, but he looked good too. You know what I mean? And so like I appreciated watching these guys work. So I will yep. say that. That was Roy's thing though when he was, I mean, I followed a lot of Roy and a lot of Mike Tyson okay, when I was okay. a kid. A whole lot. And Roy Jones, at one point, Roy Jones was the best boxer in the world for an okay. extended period of time. Like he would win okay. fights. He was flashy. The whole like side punch thing you just described, like he would yeah. like he would put his hands down, get in your face, shit like that. It was all really that exciting. Side punch is his, that's, that's his signature move. I don't, I don't, I've never seen the side okay. punch from him before. That's probably some new shit. It's, 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 it's more so, it's more, it's more so, it looks more like this. I'm facing you. I can't show like the like the sorry. Pat Mahomes like no hood like no look yeah, pass yeah like a little that. patty a little patty yeah I get I get I get that it was probably some flash he was just a flashy guy and he was really talented and I think with those guys like you never lose the as far as like the, the intelligence is like a good like a good coach like Magic will never forget all the all the basketball he knows he might not be able to do what he did physically 25 years ago but he'll never forget how to do it and I think with those guys they don't forget how to do it like for me I just, like I said I just I was just not interested in it these guys are old. And it's not even just the fact that they're old. Like I, I don't want to see that. I don't think they need that. I don't. They I don't want to see it, former, it was a, it was, former greats out there just like. I, it's not. It wasn't. It for wasn't. Me. It wasn't. It wasn't a wash. It. I, I'll tell you that. It wasn't. It wasn't like because I was under the impression that it was gonna be like wash. It wasn't like wash. It was really like it, it didn't look wash. When they're Mike, both washed, yo. it don't look washed. It only look washed if they're playing. If they're going up against somebody that ain't washed. Nah, if I, I mean, go out, if I go out right now and find somebody that hasn't played basketball in six months like I haven't, and we go one on one, it's gonna look it's gonna be a slug match. It's no, gonna be some it's, it's gonna be some legendary shit. Let me go find Imani Bates right now and say, hey, let's go one on one. Nah, I'm gonna look washed. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all look washed. I won't get a, I won't get a shot off. It's listen, man. They look good for their age. I, eh, I, relative, I think relative. I think I think we kill, I think we kill, I think we killed them. Um, and I'm trying to do more of appreciating what we had when we got it. I mean, I appreciated it when we had it. Roy Jones re- should have. Re- yeah, I mean, Roy old, Jones, bro, you old. This is for me, man. I, but Roy, me, Roy Jones for like it's boxed for, for too long. He just recently retired, like a few years ago. Yeah, 2018. After getting, I was, I was shook. after getting knocked out like ten straight times. So like. I so I, for me, that's my last memories of Roy Jones Jr. Got it. You're, I remember you're, you're old. You're, you're scoring. I remember the the greatness of him, but he should have retired earlier. It, like. There's no boxer that retires when they should. Um, There's none, except for Floyd. Floyd. And he's a dickhead, so it is what and it Jake is. And Jake Paul wants to fight him. Uh, I could see that being close. Yeah, well, Floyd will have to put on a clinic for the hood. Like, someone actually has to redeem us. Why? Who is not? Nah, listen, Jake Paul boxes. It has nothing to do with the hood or representing or whatever. He boxes. <sighs> If He's Nate a very Robinson athletic guy. Was, okay, but here's what I'm saying, right? Nate Robinson, no one wanted it to be for the hood. Nate Robinson said it was for the hood, and now the hood lost it. We need it back. We need Out it of back. all the people I could think of that I would actually say, hey, like, hey, like, he really puts on for the hood. Nate Robinson isn't that guy. He said, <laughs> <laughs> you got I'm just saying. Oh. He can, what if I, if I go out there right now and was like, yo, this is for the hood? If I go out right now and it's like, yo, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run this six minute mile. This is for the hood. Who's gonna give a fuck? But that's because you're Big Trev. <laughs> I said nobody's gonna say? care. Nobody cares. No, the hood is fine. The hood to... is great after Nate Ruby and Robinson get We're knocked not, out. We're not The hood is great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. The hood yo, is okay. Those are my those are my two topics. I wanted to <laughs> touch on <laughs> Nate. The hood has never been better. <laughs> <laughs> Hood is thriving. <laughs> thriving, my nigga. I really feel like we need uh, to get to a point where we face every situation as every situation. This is just 
me versus in you and yeah. this one situation, not me, you in this one situation, and the thing you did last week and the thing you did two months ago. Because then we're, now we're fighting so many more battles. Absolutely. And I, I heard this on a this thing on a podcast where like two people, whether it's like rela- rela- relationships or friendships or whatever, like if you're in a in an argument or a discussion with somebody, first point, don't bring up bullshit. Second point, stick to that same topic that you guys are talking about and discussing. And if, let's say that the, the topic or the discussion gets a little too heated, take a break. Yo, so my, so therapy, right? Yeah. Um, that's one of the things that we've been, you gotta be open with these things, right? You just gotta just absolutely open it and honest and embrace it. So just the go. one thing I've been focusing on is how to argue better, how to control my anger yes. um, in those situations in which I feel like I'm going to lose control. Let me tell you, you got to walk away. You have to. It, I'm, see, it I, might seem crazy, but you got to just get up, walk away, and just, or pull, like, throw your phone away. Like, you have to remove yourself, eject yourself, like, hit the eject button. Uh-huh. That is, to me, it is the only way because, like, when it be, when there's a thing of when you can just spiral down. Like negativity is one of those things. Like if I'm just upset about something, now I'm gonna be upset about everything. Absolutely. And we can just spiral, spiral, spiral. You have to eject. Come back when you feel a little bit better. You have my, to. Um, my cousin gave me this tip where like if you're in an argument and you feel like you're gonna say some wild shit, take a, like have have a drink, like some water or something, and like take a sip of water. Wow. Need more bevs in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Need more bevs. In the, yo, you come into my car. That's what you come to my car. It's just gonna be popping out Poland Springs, bro. I'm telling you, I'm like, I need bevs in the car. Everywhere. I feel you. I'm still getting. I'm. I'm still getting better at that. I'm still working on understanding that I don't have to win every single argument. Because wow, winning I get, every argument because I get pulled in. Because like as soon as like let's say I'm talking about Love one it. thing and then somebody else says something else and they bring up old shit. Or we bring up old shit, fam. I feel like let me hit, let me hit the Rolodex real bro, quick. When I'm in an argument, this is the God honest truth. I feel like I just got pistols on this side. I got guns in the back, and I got ammo, bro. I'm My ready. Listen, and I'm ready to go. And that's not a good thing. That's not a good mindset no, no, to no, have, no, 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 bro. No, no, no. But listen to this though. Listen to this though. You know you have your ammo, right? Bullets. You gotta understand something. Like she could have a <laughs> fucking slingshot with a pebble in it. Boy, that's her ammo. But guess what? Let that whiz my ear. Let that whiz my ear. Well, you're so wrong. You can have a fucking bazooka, my oh. nigga. You can have a 45. You you still don't have enough ammo. Can I tell you something? That pebble, that's a mighty fucking pebble. Can I tell you that? David, let me tell you something. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like, legit, that's one thing I have learned. Um, I've learned. Yeah. I've learned. I can, I can honestly say, like, it doesn't matter what you got in the tuck. Doesn't matter at all. It don't matter what you got shooting, on the tuck. You're shooting Superman. It don't even matter... Bro, you are shooting Superman himself. Yeah. yeah. Bulletproof boy. Trevor, how did we get here? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. We were talking about Juice World, Juice sets, World, and now we're here. I think it was it's, it was the accountability thing. It's, like it's, accountability no, it's, it's accountability. I mean, no, like, it's not a thing anymore. I'm learning that. I'm learning that now. I'm learning how to be accountable for like you know how you like having those bullets and those bazookas. Yeah. Like the power of the words is a real life thing. And I've learned that. And I'm and I'm learning that. And because when you're upset, you can really let the chopper fly. Oh yeah, you can say some I've I've been there. I've been upset. I've said hurtful things. Yes. And like I've done all low key, it, I didn't even mean it like that for real. For real. like no, of course it not. just sounded it sounded wavy. It no, was it sounded like, wavy. Rebuttal. Like I was like, this is good. Because you get defensive. Yeah, I'm oh I'm you want to win. Floyd. Exactly. You get defensive, you yeah. want to win. So you're gonna what do I say have to go and react. And say things that make it seem like this is gonna jab. It's gonna jab and make it seem like okay, that didn't hurt me that much. I'm gonna throw this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna toss this shit at you because yeah. I know this shit is gonna stink. Yo, and 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 I feel like as men, like we're so competitive and yeah, we're, and, we're, and, we're, and we have this like this nature in us, and it is something that we have to die to because like it is not good. It's not when good it comes, at all. When it comes no, to arguing with another um, person of the opposite sex, we argue different. So no matter what they're saying, no matter how powerful their words are, no matter like if it might, yo, it could really hurt. A man's argument, keep it real. A man's argument is like a dissertation, right? It's like a ten-page graduate doctorate dissertation. Nice. This is my argument. Yeah. I'm gonna put it on the table. Uh-oh. I'm gonna let you try to grade it. It's it's my life's work. What's this up? is my argument. Yeah. You know what a lot of other women's like argument is? Wikipedia. This sounds good. It might anybody can go in there and change Yo, it. This was cool yesterday. Exactly. And I'm gonna change it again today. No I'm gonna change it again tomorrow. Yeah. And that's their argument. While my dissertation is sitting there, nothing but the facts. Nothing but the facts. Nothing but the truth. Learning how, how to, to navigate in that. Learning how to be better at it. Learning how to be 
Not, yeah. I don't even say be good because you don't want to make it sound like a competition, but learning how to just be better and be more understanding and communicate in a really effective way. And I really feel like those tools going forward of, you know, stick to the same topic. Uh, if it gets yes. too heated, yes. walk away. Walk away or walk um, away. Always like- If no you're driving, name, oh, don't- I forgot, one, no name calling. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. You got to keep it. You got to keep it within a. You have to know your boundary too, man. Like even, even as bad as arguing is, you do have to have a boundary within your anger. Like, yo, I will not call you out your name. Fighting's not good, but if you're gonna fight, fight clean. Absolutely, Ish. absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Nothing, nothing below the waist. Nothing. Yeah, please don't. Please, nothing, nothing below, below the waist. waist. Please, <laughs> no. Him, no. To, no. Yeah, trying. please. Please, please don't talk about that night where it was, you know, four minutes and out. Right. Oh, minutes. my God. Yo, don't do, please. Don't do that. Don't talk about that. Don't bring up that during the argument. Yeah, yo, honestly. Don't do that. You won. <laughs> you feel me? You won. <laughs> like, you got it. All right. Speaking of funny, talk to me about Kevin Hart. Yeah. Uh, did you, I mean. I didn't finish. I'm not going to finish. I mean, I don't think you should. I don't think it's worth your time. That's just me. Wait, we spoke um, about him though. Did we not speak about him? We spoke about if you saw the special. We spoke about him. Like two, oh, three we minutes. want to talk about Kevin Hart in the chatty house. In the in the in the clubhouse. Yes, in clubhouse. Um, so in Kevin Hart's new special, no fucks given. He makes a joke about the possibility that his daughter could be a hoe because she's talking to multiple guys. Uh, people in the app clubhouse did not like this. They thought it was very derogatory towards the black woman, and they didn't uh, like that that type of. Uh, that type of, I guess, vocabulary referring to his daughter. Kevin Hart fought and said, I did not call my daughter a hoe. I said it was hoe-like. And um, that he called three former hoes. He was joking, I guess. I called three former hoes I know and asked them, is this hoe-like activity? Stop with the false narratives and clickbait and the back and forth. Um, I, got, I got thoughts on this. What are yours? What are yours? All right. My first thought is, I'm honestly tired of people's sensitivity. I really can't. I, I can't stomach it anymore. It's just annoying. Mm -hmm. He's a comedian. It is his daughter who gives a flying. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I just feel like it's just like yo, like just let it bump. Like why do we have to say anything? That's my first thought. Second thought is Kevin Hart. Why the? F why do you care? Why do you care? His, the, uh, to you cut feel you me? Everyone quick, cares his, too much. And that's what's his, getting me annoyed. His special was called No Fucks Given, but he's giving a whole lot of fucks. So many. I get it, yo. I get it. Because, like, yo, we do a podcast, right? So, like, all right, let's put it in, like, real day terms. We do a podcast. Like, we put out content, right? Like, sometimes... You have to not give a fuck of how you sound and how you look, how it may come off. We just said some crazy things that may come off as misogynistic. Who knows? But honestly, we said it in good faith. But somebody might receive it in a different way because this climate is so sensitive, right? But why do people care? I, why does Kevin Hart feel the need to, 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 to defend what he said? Oh, fam, you got the jokes off. You're, the name of your special is No Fucks Given. Give no fucks, cuz. Give no fucks. Uh, so my thoughts. First off, I feel like if the joke was funnier, people wouldn't care. I watched the special, and when he started, when he lined up the joke, I knew what the punchline was going to be. I knew the punchline was going to be your daughter might be a hoe. Yeah. After talking to, to all these different guys. I knew it. I knew it was coming. I chuckled. Ha. That was one of my eight laughs. Ha. Are you telling me that you have comedic timing? I, I, I don't have comedic <laughs> I don't have comedic timing. I just know when I, I just... It was sound like a comic I connoisseur just, over here. I knew... I mean, I watched a lot of comedy. Line. No, I know you did. I know you did. Um, and uh, you just tell where it was going. So it wasn't as funny because there was no real, I guess, like, surprise or shock or awe. And even throughout the special, it just seems like he gave a lot of fucks, even though the special's name was No Fucks Given. He said some wild shit, but it wasn't anything like beyond the realm of like what you expect Kevin Hart to say. He was a cartoon bunny, for God's sakes. Like, how many fucks could he not give, right? Yeah, he so, sold himself to Hollywood. I, I feel like if the joke was funnier, people wouldn't care because they would be too busy laughing. But we got so much time to not laugh at this yeah. unfunny joke that we can be critical of it, right? And then the second thing is, why are you responding? Just like you said, why are you responding? If it's called no fucks given, then literally my nigga don't give a fuck, Can I tell you and something? just stand on your stand on your stage and tell your joke and be confident in it. And I think this is the thing with Kevin Hart. 
Like he's sensitive. he's not funny anymore. He's not funny. He's sensitive. I like, I love him though. That's my guy. But but he's not funny anymore. And like the thing is, but like it's because people are just letting him. <sighs> no, the thing is, is like Kevin Hart has never lived on the edge as far as his comedy goes. He talks about his family, and that's cool. And another thing, I think people are overly sensitive because people were really really invested in Kevin Hart. And with that whole like cheating thing and sex tape and all that drama and him not taking accountability and that special that he put out last year that we talked about also, people are sensitive when he talks about these things now. People think, wow, you're talking crazy about your wife, but you were just like fucking bitches and storing coke in a hotel room. Wow, you're talking crazy about your baby mama, but you cheated on her just like you cheated on your other wife. So I think people, even when I was watching that with, uh, with my girl, that's, those are things that she was saying. She was like, he thinks this is funny. When he did this to his wife and his ex-wife and his kids might have a complex and he's joking about, I think people are taking him seriously because he put his shit out there to be this type of person. He turned out to be something else. Now he's this edgy guy and he's never been edgy. It's just confusing. We don't know who Kevin Hart is anymore. And the worst part about it is that he's not even funny anymore. He has to be. And if he's not the sharpest tool in the shed, guess what? Most 77 year olds ain't. Yeah, you can't <laughs> fault him. Like, what do you, like, what? At like, 77, you can't even fault the man. Yo, we got to get him in office immediately so we can get Kam- Kamala. Kamala in there. Yeah, I mean, immediately. you got to figure Joe's got maybe two years. But, like, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, yo, my man's tired after this uh, presidential tired. election. <laughs> <laughs> you know he's gonna be exhausted. No, Nigga, they are. You right. have to win the race, right? You have to win a presidential race, and then get to work the next day and save a country. But I feel like I told you this. I feel like they're load managing Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Joe Biden is on yeah, load, load management right now. Load management. Because we'll hear, we'll hear from him for a few weeks, and then it's like silence. Yeah. So during that time of silence, he's like Hawaii. He's icing his knee. He's getting his elbow yeah. treated. Like he's getting rejuvenated. He be taking that. plays off, mad, mad games off. You're like, yo, it's so a road many game. games off. Exactly. You don't want to talk to the people. National, nah, national yeah, TV it. game. This nigga's in the yeah. starting lineup. Yeah, I used to hate that last season <laughs> when Brown would be in, in some sweats. I'd be yeah. hot. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm really happy about this. No. Uh, this Kamala pick. Very excited. And. For the pick. I think I, I think I was when, happy when I saw that. Yeah, and I'm was, not the political guy, you know that. But I was happy when I saw that. No, I, I needed it to be a black woman. Like I, it couldn't, it couldn't it, be yeah. like you know Elizabeth Warren, the librarian. It couldn't be no, no, no. like any of those other like you know powder face women that are basically yeah, like, how the same as the guys. Yeah, she's Good. she's she's ready, um, ready to run. And good for her. There man. is a debate. I'm very happy for her. There's a debate between her and Pence in October okay. that I'm pretty sure she's going to like smoke this nigga's socks. So I'm looking forward to that also. <laughs> it's going to be a good time. Yo, you talk about politics like it's literally the playoffs. But that's what it is, That's though. what it is, though. You know? That's it's, what it is, but I've never heard someone talk about it in that light. It's playoffs. It's March Madness. Yeah. It's, it's urgency, right? Every decision mm-hmm. is magnified. Every person you choose to align yourself with is magnified. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, it's, it's no games anymore. Yeah. It's you could be eliminated and you got to go home and just the game is over for you. And it's even worse because then you got to wait four years, four years for the next and, it's, and it's four years of people on television talking about how you lost, just like they did with Hillary. Like you lost yeah, four years ago and they still talk about that shit. Yeah, they it, always bring it back. They always bring it back. It's crazy. I mean, I guess that's sports. That is sports. That is that's sports. that's the stuff that the last opponent and how well you face up against them. And you know that's I mean? true. It's the same thing. I mean, that's what Michael Jordan and LeBron went through before they went won a championship. It was every single year you didn't win, you didn't win, you lost. Especially LeBron making the final so many times. You lost in the final so many times. Too many times. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's it, it is just like that. And I, I want everybody to to understand that like you like uh, the DNC started last night and and Michelle Obama spoke and I caught a few of her quotes. Uh, the most important thing that she mentioned and I'm going to reiterate is that if you go out there and you do anything else besides vote for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, you are voting for Trump. If you choose not to vote, you're voting for Trump. If you vote for Kanye, you're voting for Trump. If you vote for Trump, you're voting for Trump. Like if, if what, if what you want, yeah, that that's basically what her message was. Like if you want some change to happen, if you want this nigga out of here, then you got to vote for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. They are the best choice. It's like, we don't always we don't always get the best candidates in there to vote for president, but it's like but multiple choice. You pick the best option. A, B, or C. Exactly, and you pick and the B options you have available to right you. Now. Looks looks amazing. He looks great.